I'm gonna make a quick video because I went live and I'm not sure if it worked out all right. Uh, tripping over stuff in the shop. But um, first I diagnosed the motor without even checking it out, which is a big no-no. But once I checked it out, what I thought was wrong with it, wasn't wrong with it. What was really wrong with it, it had some knocking in the bottom end. I thought it was the lifter knocking or something like that. But um, I'm gonna turn the camera around, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Like the channel if you ain't haven't liked it, Mel. You gotta like it. Get this um, video up to past 50, please. But uh, I'm gonna show you how to check uh, rod knock or rod bearings on any engine. I'm working on a 6.2 liter, come out of uh, 2015 SS Camaro. It's real late, two, three, two, three o'clock in the morning, so I'm kind of tired, guys. But um, I'm gonna flip the camera around so you can. I'm gonna crank the engine around. And uh, this engine right here, I'm gonna crank it around, spin it so that this piston is traveling down. And once it's traveling down, I'll be able to check it for knock. So basically, or I can just spin it back and forth and you can hear it knocking. So I'm gonna spin it forward, guys. I'm gonna lay y'all on top of the engine. All right, so I'm back. I'm just gonna lay on top of the engine. First, I'm gonna let it go travel down. I'm gonna push it with a um, soft hammer or whatever you got. I'm using um, the handle of my wrench. And this is the only cylinder that's really making the most noise, but all the bearings are gonna get changed anyways. So I'm gonna go ahead and set you down right now so y'all can check this out. All right, go back the other way so it's already traveling up. All right, so now that it's going back down, I'm talking about this one right here. Now it's going back down. Uh, there's a few cylinders going, I'm gonna drop that socket right there. There's a few cylinders going down. I'm gonna, that one was moving. Y'all see that little play right there, guys? Wow. That one has, these bearings are going on the, on the uh, crankshaft. Y'all see that? I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that. But they all are. That's why they're all getting changed. But this one is the worst one. Y'all hear that? It just went down like. Y'all see all that play there? Wow, guys. I didn't even see that play at first. I just seen the play whenever I knocked it down. So. I'm going to go ahead and move it back up again for you guys. It is a lot of play. Sorry guys, I got kind of excited. I'm getting excited because I didn't... I'm actually discovering more while I'm making this video. Wow. I'm going to get a... I'm going to get a... Um, well, I can call it off. The uh, uh, breaker bar, so I can move it back and forth. Sorry, guys. Let me find a breaker bar right quick. Okay. My little power tools. Bring you guys over here right quick. There it is. Okay. I'm gonna let y'all see. Try to let my phone fall. play on these pistons so I hope they're not bent or anything but thank you guys for watching let me keep the camera back over appreciate you guys for watching you can do this on any engine I mix die never die never diagnose an engine without um, actually putting your eyes on it guys I'm looking at the cam bearings while I'm making this video at the same time I shouldn't be getting distracted but this thing, this thing's getting, um, 
hopefully I can save the customers some money. I'm always all about trying to save the money, but a lot of times I just realize you can't always save the money because a lot of times when you try to save the money, you're doing something wrong or you're taking shortcuts. And when you take shortcuts, it bites you in the butt all the time. So right now I'm at the point where I have to mic this whole motor, all the bores, mic everything, and this thing back running, save these guys some money, as much money as I can. Peace, thank you for watching this guys. See you on the next one.